the name's new. Today I'm going to be showing things to do during isolation when you're bored. The first thing I did, which sounds cheesy, but create a YouTube channel. It's honestly really cool. You don't even have to put your face out there. Editing, even though I continuously say it's not one of my favorite things, it is honestly time consuming, but also it's pretty cool depending on how you want to edit. I primarily like to edit things to be very funny and something that I know I would watch. So while editing, I'm spending time. I spent hours doing editing and honestly, by the end of it, I created a routine for myself. And that's a big thing to do during quarantine is to keep a routine. One of my favorite things is just fooling around. I recorded this because I thought it was really funny and to put it in, but I took my mom's hair and started uh, making her hair go up. I know it's weird, but styling people's hair, just doing a little spa thing. I know I've done that multiple times. I even did a whole uh, glow up video, just creating a spa or doing mom's hair, makeup, you know, doing fun stuff like that. Just family building is honestly a really good thing to do. You get closer to your family when you're busy trying to stay home and do things. Going with the spa thing, I started doing my nails a lot more like I already did but as you can see on my channel I already have two videos of me doing my nails I've been doing my nails more often than before every week I have a new set before it was every two weeks or not even I would leave it a while without doing my nails because it was a hassle and I was always busy but now that I have more free time for myself it's gotten a lot more boring and also learning how to do your own nails is really good because you're of course getting more busy and also the nail salons are closed so what else you're gonna do if you want to look pretty weirdly enough this has nothing to do with the last one but learn tiktok dances i know i already did a just dance video and react to tiktok stuff but honestly TikTok has gotten even more popular now during quarantine because, like I said, no one really has much to do, so we're just on TikTok all day, and I just got into TikTok as crazy as it sounds before I wasn't as into it, but now I've been watching TikToks until like 4am and I learned to do the Savage Challenge, which before I wasn't that into, so kind of crazy. <laughs> The last thing, which is an actual DIY, is creating your own drawer or box for things. I know that I shop a lot, so I have boxes laying around the house, and when you're going through stuff like this, you're at home and you need things, so you might order stuff, and with those boxes, you can just create stuff like this. I created a box using cardstock. Um, tape and tacky glue and all these things i had laying around the house yes i have cardstock laying around the house surprising um but yeah i just cut off the tabs and then went ahead and cut off the cardstock to fit the size of the sides of my box i glue them and then tape the sides so the glue can dry and then i went ahead and printed out a really cute uh, clip art of contacts because this is my contact box and I t glued it onto the side of the box. I also made a tinier box for my contact lens cases and did the same thing and honestly it's the cutest thing and it fits perfectly and I also went ahead and threw out a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need because I had all this stuff laying around 
and not in my room and now i have my whole contact collection in my room which is honestly awesome so this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i know this is not my usual content and i know i always say that because my usual content is not so usual content i do the most random and i really don't know like my flavor yet but like honestly every video i post i really enjoy making it because it's super cute and i'm still trying to find what i like to do the most but honestly <laughs> I'm the most creative, so everything I do I like the most. Also, thank you for the 61 views on my last video. Like, I didn't expect for me to get that many views, nor expected to get more than one view, period. Um, but yeah, as, as making this and posting this, I saw that it was 61, so I don't know if it's more now by the time you guys are watching this, but yeah. Love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.